no, you're pretty much right on. So I kind of lump stillborns and piglet vigor all into that bucket because stillborns are obviously not vital. But then a pig that comes out that's uh, low energy or hypoxic or whatever, you know, that pig is doesn't have good vitality either and potentially ends up in mortality case. So I kind of lump those stillborns and the, the pigs that aren't very vigorous together. Because if you look through some of these recent studies that have been done uh, where they had farrowing assistance 24-7, they didn't see a difference in stillborns. But then there's difference between the nutritional regimens as far as uh, piglet survival. So were they able there to, was there farrowing assistance? If they wouldn't have had farrowing assistance, would they seen a difference in stillborns? So I, I tend to want to lump those together a little bit, the stillborns and the piglets of, of low vigor. If you enjoyed this short clip from the podcast, then you should really check out the full episode, which you can find by clicking this link here. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.